Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn about batch counter meter. First of all, let us see where this batch counter meter is used. After this, I will explain you the working wiring and programming. Look, we use batch counter meter to count something. Like here you can see, I have papers. Now we have to make set of these papers, that is, we have to make each set of 12 paper. For this, we have a sensor. What this sensor will do, it will sense the papers passing and after sensing this, it generates a output command. Whatever output command is there, it goes to batch counter meter. What this batch counter meter will do, it will count. Now if you want that, if a set of 12 papers is completed, then machine must stop, then programmable batch counter here, in this, we will set a value. Right now 9 is set. I am increasing this and setting the value 12. If I set 12 here, then motor or machine will stop for some time when set of 12 papers is completed. So here you have to understand that we use batch counter to count any object and to make set of object. Now batch counter meter I have, before understanding the function of this, first learn some basic things about this. Now as you can see here, in this meter, two display are given. On this upper side, I mean this red colored display here, this is known as present value. PV means present value. Whatever counting is there is displayed over here. After this, this green colored display here is known as set value. SV means set value. Now whatever setting we will do here, like in present condition, here set value is 1.2. If 1.2 is counted here, then relay will generate output command. Now as I told you, we have to do programming here. For programming, you will get three buttons here. First button is for up, second is for down. It means to change value, you have to use up and down buttons. After this, you will get a mode button also. Through mode button, you can go to programming. And whatever programming you can do, to save this, you have to use this same button. After this, some indications are given here. Relay 1, Relay 2 and Rate. Here you don't need to understand in deep, just simply understand that when relay operates, one indication lamp will glow. When you look at the backside of this relay, then total 12 terminals you will get here. Like you can see here, in this counter meter, here phase supply and here neutral supply is connected. It means display of this meter here, if we want to turn on this, then what we have to do, at L terminal, we have to connect phase supply and where N is written, we have to connect neutral power supply there. Now these three terminals here, on these three terminals, you can connect sensor or you can connect push button also and you can connect limit switch also. It means on these three terminals, you have to connect a device through which you want to give feedback of counting. If you want, through limit switch, you can get it counted or by using this push button, pressing normally, you can get it counted. Or by using sensor also, you can get it counted. Here we will use sensor to get counting in this. Sensor I have here, this is proximity sensor. It means through this sensor, we can sense metal objects only. Now when you look into this sensor, then here you will get total 3 wires. One is brown, second is blue and third wire will be black. To this brown wire, we have to provide positive power supply. To blue wire, we have to connect negative power supply. From this black wire, we get output command. Now we will connect these 3 wires with this relay. Here SUP which is written, on this terminal, you have to connect brown wire. So I am bringing this brown wire and connecting it with SUP terminal. After this blue wire here, you have to connect this blue wire with ground terminal. So I am connecting this here. Now this black wire here, with signal or SIG terminal, connect this wire. Ok, connections of the sensor also completed. Now let's check this. I am turning on the power supply of this meter. In present condition, set value is 12 and counting right now is 0. What I will do, I am taking this tester and I am bringing this near to sensor. When I bring it near to sensor, counting starts increasing. I am increasing the counting here. We kept the set value as 12. Let's see what will happen when counting reaches 12. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. When 12 is completed, that is, value which we programmed here, when counting reaches that value, then relay will turn on. What is the meaning of relay getting on? See, when you look at the backside of this relay, you will get NO, common and NC terminal. Contact of these terminal will change. Like you have seen glass relay or contactor, when we turn on these, contact changes. In the same way, contact of this relay changes. Now how this relay works, to explain this, I am using a lamp. Just consider this lamp as motor, which we have to turn on and off. 
Now this motor here or LED lamp here, if we want to turn on this, then we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply to this. This lamp here, first of all take this lamp and this NC here or anode terminal here, you have to connect with this. It depends on logic, you need to use NC or NO. What I will do, I am taking phase supply wire and connecting with NC contact. Now take neutral power supply of lamp and connect with neutral supply of the power supply. That is, you have to connect neutral power supply directly. Now in this meter, there is common terminal. You have to connect phase supply with this. I have a piece of wire, I am connecting one end with common terminal. Now take other end of this wire and with phase supply of power supply, connect this wire. Now I am turning on the power supply. When I turned on the power supply, you can see lamp started glowing. As I told you, when counting is less, here in this condition lamp will glow if we use NC contact. Now I am taking a metal object near to sensor and I am increasing the counting. I will increase this counting more than I programmed. You can see counting is keep on increasing. When it reached 12, relay operated and lamp turned off automatically. In this way, by doing programming, we can turn on and off any machine or equipment. Now we turned off the machine here, but how we can reset this? To reset, you will get two options here. One is resetting automatically or resetting it manually. First of all, understand how to reset manually. See, if you want to reset this manually, then what you have to do, first of all, I am turning off this. When you look at the backside of this meter, here you will find these two terminals. Here reset is written, so you have to connect something on these two terminals through which you want to reset. To reset manually, you can use push button or you can use a sensor also. By using push button, I will reset this. With this push button, I connected two wires. I am taking these two wires and connecting with these two terminals. So I connected reset push button here. Ok then, I am turning on the power supply. Here I turned on the power supply, right now relay is not operating. Lamp is glowing. Now I am operating the relay. Ok, now relay is operated. Now if you want to reset this, then to reset, you have to press this push button once. When you press this, relay will get reset. Now if you want to reset this automatically, that is, we don't want to press push button, it should get reset automatically after some time. For this, you have to set programming here. So how we do programming of this meter, let's learn this also. In this counter meter, how to do programming, let's understand. If you want to do programming in this counter meter, then for this, what you have to do, press this mode button once. When you press this, set 1 is written here and some value is written here. Value which is displayed here, it means how much time sensor will sense it and after that it operates the relay. Right now 12 is set here, if we want to change this value, then by using up and down buttons, we can change the value. I changed to 15. Now if I want to save this, then by pressing mode button, we can save this. When object comes 15 times in front of sensor, then counter will generate the output command. Like you can see here, output command is generated. Now let us understand the remaining programming. See, what you have to do, you have to press mode button. Here set1 is showing. Now you have to press this again. When you press this again, you will find LOC is written here. LOC means lock. It means you have to enter password here. Password of this is 127. So I will enter 127 here. After entering password, press the mode button. When you press this, you will see DT hyphen D is written here. It means this dot here, this point, like you can see here, this point here. To change position of this, you can do programming in this. You can put this point wherever you want to. After this again you have to press this mode button. When you press this, here you will find CN hyphen D is written. What does this CN hyphen D mean? Let's understand. See, meaning of this CN hyphen D is this relay here, even after operation of relay, if we want to increase count, for example, see here, right now 15 is set. I'm increasing this. Here it goes 15. Just now relay operated. Now if any object comes near to sensor and we want to count that, then we have to set in this. That is, through this CN hyphen D, we can do the counting in this. If you want to continue counting even when relay is operated, then in this condition, you have to select CN hyphen E. To select E, press up button. Now E is shown here. E means enable and D means disable. 
if you save E here, then your sensor will still count. And if you select D here, your sensor will stop counting when your relay is operated. Okay, so I am keeping this enabled. And to save this, press this mode button. Data we selected is saved. After this, you can see something written here. This means multiplication. That is, sensor here, when object comes in front of sensor, then on sensing object once, how much it should be counted, this setting we do through this. See, right now it is 1. I am changing this to 5. So I am making this as 5. Now I am saving this. To save this, I am pressing mode button. After pressing this, exit from here. Right now counting is 6. Now when I take this tester in front of sensor, counting will become plus 5. You can see counting is increased by 5. When it sends again, then again it becomes plus 5. It means every time counting is increased by plus 5. On sensing once, relay will count the value 5. See, if I sense once, counting is increased by 5. When it sends again, here it becomes 10. If we do again, it will become 15. So multiplication we set here was 5. This is why every time counting is added by 5. I am changing this again to 1. Now after this, when you press mode button, you will get option of division. Like when we were sensing once, counting was plus 5. Similarly, the value you set in division, whatever value you will set, after sensing that much times, one count will increase. How it is counted, let's understand. I am making this 5. This is 1, I am increasing this to 5. Now save this. By pressing mode button, we will save. Now to make this counting 2 from 1, you have to sense the object 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When it senses 5 times, one count will increase. This means in divide, whatever value you set, after sensing the object this much times by sensor, one count will increase. Okay, in divide, I set 5. This is why I have to let this sensor sense 5 times to increase one count. I am making this again 1 and to save this, press mode button. Your data will be saved. Now you can see here it is written RE. RE means reset. As I told you, when counting of this counter is completed, then relay will operate and to reset this, we were using push button. But in this reset program, if you set value, like I am setting 5 here. If I set 5 here, this means 5 seconds. This means that this relay will get reset automatically after 5 seconds. How it will get reset, let's understand. Right now relay is not operating. I am operating this. Now relay is operated. You saw, after 5 seconds, it will get reset automatically. Let's see once more. You can see relay just operated and after 5 seconds, it will get reset automatically. I am not pressing push button here. Relay is getting reset automatically. Thanks for watching this video.